So here's a, a quick revisit of the uh, J Mascus Jazz Master, and it's become my number one. It's really fun to play. And here's a few things I found out about it, which um, if you want to buy one, you might want to know. The only thing that's really gone wrong with this guitar so far is the pickup selector switch, which on occasion, I can't go from the neck pickup to two pickups. Um, and this has happened two or three times, I guess, where I'll try to get both pickups and it doesn't matter what I do, I, I'm only getting one. So I have to switch back and forth until it <laughs> snaps into place, which is really annoying when you're on stage. So that's going to be replaced. The volume and tone controls are working fine, so I'm not going to replace those. As a matter of fact, the volume control on this particular Jazz Master is much better than the Squire VM Jazz Master. The treble bleed on the VM is just is awful. As soon as you turn it down, it starts. To, it's like it's muting. <laughs> it's like you put a blanket over the pickup. The other thing I noticed about this is the whammy bar. It just seems, um, it just seems really tight, and I've got it adjusted as much as I can adjust it, and it um, it's stiff because I think this Jazzmaster is the tremolo bar is closer to the bridge than a regular Jazzmaster. That's the only thing I can think of. Um, much different than this guitar. <laughs> I mean, it's not bad, but it's just not as floaty, if you want to call it. Is that a word? Floaty? I don't know. I think it's, I think it's a word. The tuning pegs work great. Um, no problems there. They're vintage tuning pegs, I, which I love. I've got them on my Telecaster. I have them on my Strat. They're not as mystifying as people think they, they are. <laughs> I don't think they're hard to string at all, but I like them. So there you go. The other thing I noticed about this guitar, I wanted it to, on occasion, replace my Telecaster. So I didn't have to switch back and forth. So I'd use it on some surf tunes. I'd use it on some um, country tunes. And I really, I have to EQ the amp really <laughs> differently. I know, amazing, huh? Who'd have thunk it? Um, I have to EQ the amp really differently. These are really meaty pickups, and they distort the amp pretty easily. Um, but I, I can I can sort of, depending on how I play and depending on how I have the amp set up, I can kind of make it sound kind of twangy and tele, telecast, telecaster-esque. Is that the right word? I think it is. For some reason, a lot of people, or some people that I see on message boards and YouTube videos, seem to think that you buy one of these and you're going to have to swap out all this stuff. It, it's terrible. The electronics are bad. The pickups aren't any good. The whammy bar needs to get replaced. The, the tuning pegs suck. All this stuff. Um, and I don't think that's true at all. I think it works great right out of the box. Just a quick shout out to Rob the Meat Manifesto in the UK who convinced me to buy one of these. And he does a lot of um, demos of, of Squires, a lot of offset stuff. Jaguars, Jazz Masters, Mustangs, all kinds of things. Anyway, check them out.